Hello there people, this is Bruce B. Cool on Nintendo Bruce. I will love you just the same, whichever name you pick. And now, let's go on to the seventh part of our guide, Splash Woman. Uh, as you can probably tell, this is the water level in the game. And usual physics apply of jumping ten times higher than you're supposed to in water. Anyway, those little mine things there, you can destroy with a black hole bomb if you're after the World Warrior achievement. Otherwise you just have to dodge them and uh, jump around, as it were, until they explode. Uh, those octopus things are a bit of a pain, you can only hit them in the face as you saw. Hold left when you go down here, you get an extra life. Uh, left or right is the preferred method of falling down, otherwise you will fall straight onto the spikes, which isn't good. Okay, and here, take the more disastrous route, if you need energy anyway. There you go, as you can see it's a bit easier to do as well. Just fall straight down. Now those green rolly things, I prefer to destroy as quick as possible because those shots can be annoying and are quite awkward if you're uh, if you're not expecting them. And here, now we get to ride on the bubbles. There are two types, the big bubble which goes up slowly and the little bubble which once you tread on it, it explodes. So try and stay on the, uh, the big bubbles if you can. Watch out for these random drill fish. I do prefer to jump as high as possible just to trigger them. God, this is slow. Anyway, jump high. There we go, that's what I mean by triggering them. Otherwise, they would have just ploughed into you if you sat on the bubble, and uh, you don't want that. You don't want to fall all the way down there again, just to go up slowly again. And you can get a screw if you want, but I'm not going to because I don't even need them. Again, try and get rid of these guys before climbing up the ladder, or at least one of them. And now we get onto the water platform things. You see, the idea is to jump as high as you can to the top and, uh, well, advance to the next room. Now, if you keep an eye on them, the amount of water level inside them is uh, the amount of time you've got left before they just disappear. So, take a note of that. Here, be especially careful. If you're not too confident, then just, you know, sit back, watch the pattern first, and then make your move. No point just jumping and guessing where you're going to land. Oops. Well, you'll get to look at the pattern again then, how about that? Oh no, good to you guys. And again, just be careful with that little spiky part there. There we go, that's one of the irritating parts of the stage out of the way, if not the most irritating part. And again, avoid these mines. There you go, that's how you should avoid them. Although that's not how you avoid the drill fish apparently. And already we're up to Splash Woman. Now, something a bit random with her, I'm not sure if it's a sexist thing or something, but even shooting her with a, me with a Mega Buster means uh, she takes double damage, so two bars get knocked off instead of one. She has two attacks, she'll sing at you, uh, although it's the after effect which is uh, annoying the fish. And as you can see here, the Thunder Lance, that is what we are hoping to acquire. The thunder Lance, you can sort of tell when it's going to appear and just run from left to right until she uh, until she misses you, really. Oh, and obviously watch out when she hits the floor, because uh, a trident to the face will hurt you. And that's it. If you wanted to be cheeky, you can just jump after her if you like. Although, hopefully with a little more accuracy than I have. Now, I mentioned in the last video, her weakness is the Hornet Chase, which makes this battle a hell of a lot shorter. Um, they usually get rid of the fish first and then they'll, uh, then if you fire a few more they'll uh, go after her. But yeah, Splash Woman. I think she's the second easiest stage in the game to be honest with you. Second easiest stage and boss. And with that we've now got the Thunder Lance. So that is the final Robot Master's weakness, Concrete Man. And besides that it can destroy a few walls which we will uh, come up to at some point soon. Uh, in the Dr. Wily stages, and also get a funky costume, how about that? Anyway, Concrete Man, I shall see you then!